today I'm answering the question, what to feed a cat that has hyperthyroidism and kidney disease? So thanks for watching. This is Healthy Kidney Inc. where we provide information for people and pets to support good kidney health. Now this question we got in, it's a unique one because you have two conditions going on which have two different therapeutic diet approaches. So hyperthyroidism is where the thyroid gland is producing too much hormones. And it can cause a lot of issues. Uh, it creates poor health. Uh, you can lose a lot of muscle in your, in your cat. Um, it can cause insomnia, sleep issues, lots of bad things and heart issues. Okay, so that would, uh, the heart issues would lead to, you know, the real complications later on. And then we have kidney disease, which also complicates things. So what do you feed a cat that has both of these issues? So first, wet canned food. You always want to use wet canned food because it's preferred. They're just, the benefits of wet food over dry food are just, uh, it's, it's huge, it's big, okay? So you want to use wet canned food, it's so important. There's so many new, numerous benefits over using wet food. Now with kidney disease, we want to lower protein intake. We don't want to get rid of it, we just want to lower it. But since you have now this hyperthyroidism, where you generally want to increase protein intake, kind of stuck in the middle there. Now, you do want to get conventional treatment, meaning you want to go see a veterinarian and get the proper treatments for this. Sometimes there's medication that can work well. But in terms of protein, it does depend on what stage of kidney disease. If you're in the later stages, uh, you like to try to save that kidney, so you'd want to lower protein. Maybe not lower it as much as if, it was, if there was only kidney disease, but you do, to some degree, want to lower it. Now, um, if it's earlier stages of kidney disease, you might not have to lower it and just keep it at a normal level, which would be good, meaning the current level that you're using. Later stages, you want to look to lower it. Now, if you're going to lower it or you're keeping at the current protein levels, you want to want to add some fats into the diet because the fats will provide an extra source of calories that won't affect the kidney or the thyroid, the hyperthyroid. So these fats, you want to add some fattier fish in as sources of protein. So instead of using uh, a chicken, beef, whatever that source of protein is, some fish, some tuna, salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring, whatever, whatever fish uh, that's at your option because it's going to provide them with some healthier fats which will give them some more calories. Uh, in addition, you can add some fish oil for, to their diet. You can add anywhere from one to two teaspoons and that's going to provide extra calories and extra source. Now you could use a very small amount of yogurt, a full fat yogurt. Now when I say small amount, we're talking about a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon. It's going to give you some extra fats, a little, a little extra calories, and with uh, kidney disease, we generally want to avoid dairy, but by using this small amount, we're able to provide some of those extra healthy fats there. So that's when it comes to protein and fat intake. There is a supplement called L-carnitine. We use it in people who have hyperthyroidism to help uh, lower some of those thyroid hormones or helps block conversion of some of those hormones. You can use it as cats. A lot of times it's used in conjunction medications. I would always use it in conjunction medications and not by itself. By itself, I um, haven't seen great outcomes, but definitely is supported with, with the ther other therapies, the medications involved, really good results in cats. If you do try it on its own, you want to use a high dose. So generally it's 250 milligrams of L-carnitine a day. Uh, they have pill forms of it. Um, and you can go as high as 500 milligrams. That would be the high end that I'd recommend there. So those are a couple options that you have. The last thing is look out for blood sugar problems, pre-diabetes or diabetes, which sometimes accompany uh, hyperthyroidism or, or the kidney disease. So something to be mindful of because you might need to change other recommendations. But those are some tips. A lot of other videos on kidney disease on our channel, what you can do, plus blog articles on our website at healthykidneyinc.com. So make sure to check everything out uh, and comment and like. Thank you for watching to your cat's best kidney health. Bye.